Okay, sixth grade, lesson 85. This is on using cross products to solve proportions. Okay, do you remember how we've been working with proportions lately? Mm -hmm. And how one half is the same thing as two fourths? All depends on what you multiply it by. Yep. Okay, this is something you're gonna learn really cool today. Okay, so I want you to write down these. Let's see if they really do equal. Okay, what have I taught you so far to figure out if this equals? Uh, if three times two equals six, so then four times two equals okay. eight. So would you say this one um, is the same kind of proportion? Yep. Yep, it's equal proportions. Guess what? There's another way you can do it. How? You ready? With addition. No, watch what I do. I'm going to draw an X. And we're going to go from here to here, mm. and four times six is... What is oh, it? Oh, uh, 24. 4. And 8 times 3 is? 12. 24. Oh. So, do these equal? Yep. So, guess what? We know that this is true. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I know, right? I wanted to teach you that a long time ago, but we couldn't do it until this lesson. Okay, you want to try another one? Is 3 fifths equal to four sevenths, or is this an equal proportion? Well, we know that we can't do five times something to equal yeah. seven, or so three times something. X so three. we're not so sure that it's going to be correct. So let's do it this way. Ready? What's five mm -hmm. times four? Twenty. Twenty. And what is seven times three? Um, I think it's twenty-two. Twenty-one. Good try. Oh, Almost. Yeah. Good job. Oh, okay? Yeah. So, does it equal? No. No. Do you not all, you don't know what else this tells us? This fraction is bigger. Because the 21's on top. Isn't that cool? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So, do you understand? Uh-huh. All right. If I had three-fifths of a pizza versus four-sevenths of a pizza, I would have more pizza. Okay? If I had this one. All right. Let's try another one. This one's a little bit um, bigger. 8 twelfths and 12 eighteens. Is that equal proportion? Um, well, this one you're not going to just automatically know. I know that 12 times 12 is 144, but I don't know what 18 times 8 is. So let's do that real quick. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 1 is 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. Yeah. Yeah. So, are these equal proportions? Yep. Yes, they are. And is either one of these bigger? Nope. No. The exact same. If I cut 12 slices of pizza and ate 8 of them, or if I cut 18 slices of pizza and ate 12 of them, I would be eating the same amount. You understand how that works? Yep. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's do a few more. All right, this is where it gets a little bit harder, so stay with me. They give me the first proportion, but then they want to know what is the bottom portion going to be. Now, there's two ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the easiest way first. It's six, okay? whatever, 16. We know that this goes here to here, which equals uh -huh. 9 times 10 is 90. 90. So what does this need to equal? 90. 90 if it's supposed to be equal. So basically what this is saying is six times, six what? times m, which is, or what, equals 90. So guess what? I just wrote an equation. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So now how do I figure this out? Um, I take 90 and divide it by 6. Because remember how 6 times what equals 90? The opposite of multiplying is dividing. Yeah. Okay, the inverse operation is what it's called. So let's do that. 6 goes into 90. Well, let's do 9 first. 6 times 1, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 goes into 30 five times. And 30 ends it, so we got an equal amount. So what does M equal? 30. 15. 30 was my answer right um, here. Yeah. Yeah. So my answer is up here at the top. Remember? 15. So M equals 15. You see how we did that? Mm -hmm. All right, I want you to try one on your own, on your paper, okay? Okay, 15 over 21 equals 
W over 70. Now, W can mean anything, remember? It's just, I don't know the answer to it. So what's my very first step? You walk me through it and we'll do it together. It's 15 times what equals 70? Okay, now wait a minute. Wait. What, what, am I, what, am I, what do I do to get the answers here? Um, Remember? I cross? Yeah, but... Okay, so let's go in and multiply this and see what our answer is up here. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. 70 times 15. I'm going to put my zero on the outside. Remember that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't have to do that. You can just multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll take off this. 1050. Holy cow, that's a big number. That's the answer to 70 times 15. Okay? So now so what's this got to equal? It's like 21. No. 1050 what does this divided have to equal? by. Oh, it has to equal 1050. 1050. Okay, so how am I going to answer that? 21 times this, W, which we don't know, equals 1050. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And, and you how do I answer that? I have to divide. Okay? So, I'm going to take away this problem since my board is small. 1050 divided by 21. Okay, and I don't have a clue, so we're just going to really have to guess. Okay, so a way that I could just start is maybe 2 will go into 10 five times. Let's see if 21 will go into 105 five times. You see how I just used one of those clues? It may not work. We're going to try it. 21 times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. <gasps> It worked! Wow, okay, I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, so 105 is our answer. Okay, and then I bring down my zero. 21 will go into zero. Zero times. Zero times. And remember, we have to end right here. So now we're done. Okay, so what's my answer W going to be? Uh, 50. 50, very good. So W equals 50. See how we did that? Uh-huh. Feel like you understand it? Yep. That's lesson 85.